Well, boys and girls, it's time for Ask Stu again. But before we start anything, I just want to say, you know, normally you guys have been great. You guys always put up with my shit and just let me do whatever I want. But last episode was pretty much this. I don't like change! You guys all had a shit fit about the 3D model. Holy shit. One person said it looked like a PS2 model, which I don't see how that's a bad thing. One person said it looked like a Five Nights at Freddy's, and another person said it just looks creepy. Well, sorry, I tried to do something different for a change. I guess I'm like Sonic now. I had a rocky transition to 3D. Well, I got bad news for you. He's not going anywhere. In fact, here he is. Consume the flesh! But I'll make a compromise with you. He won't be the main thing on the show. That said, the 2D art style is going to be changing because I hired a new artist. They're going to be doing new stills and they're going to be doing thumbnails and I think you're really going to like them. If you don't like it, get used to it! With that out of the way, let's do some questions. How did you make Dixie? Like, how did she come about? I just decided one day I wanted my own OC. It started making less and less sense to me to be commissioning a furry OC that isn't even mine. That OC being Sabrina from Sabrina Online, in case you didn't know. So I set out to design the perfect furry, basically. Everything about her was meant to be as hot as possible to me and only me. And it turned out lots of people like her, and I like that. As a fellow redneck, I'd like your opinion. There's this EV company called Aptera that makes an auto cycle with the profiling of an El Camino. It's cheap as shit. Range of a two of the blah 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 blah. Do you think it can take off in the south? Blah 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 blah. Okay, super hot take electric cars are the devil every electric car that gets put out another pipeline or loses their job how do you feel about all these southern states legalizing pot i wouldn't know louisiana still won't legalize it besides i can't smoke weed anyway i take antipsychotics it would fuck me up favorite dokken album or song okay i think it's a tie between under lock and key and back for the attack as their best albums both of them i would listen from start to finish lately my favorite dokken song has been kiss of death i've been listening to that one a lot i can't play it here but go listen to it the intro riff will fucking kick your ass you into wrestling no but i have friends that are they like to watch that aew or whatever it's just choreographed dance for muscle men i think it's boring the only thing i really like about wrestling is when the crowd holds up signs which have video game hot takes the worst fire emblem game is better than the best paper mario that's a take if i ever saw one i remember hearing you joke about being autistic is that true yes it is i've got asperger's i take meds for it and everything. You can tell I am because when I decide I like something, I make it my obsession for a long time. Suddenly the thing I like becomes my entire identity. With me it's stuff like cars, guitars, guns, and 80s music. And I'm so socially awkward in real life that I cannot function in society. And since the US government has decided I'm not crazy enough to get benefits, this is my only means of income. Sad but true. Next question. Do you plan on doing a video on Don Bluth games? Are there that many though? I know there's the Laserdisc games and I've seen a few DOS games, but that's about it, isn't it? I don't know if that'd be interesting or not. I'll have to look at the games. Have you played Freedom Planet? No. Ah, oh boy, I wondered when I was gonna get this. I get so much flack for saying I don't like Elden Ring or the Souls games. I just don't like games that base their whole identity on, oh my god, this game is so hard, bro. It's difficult. Isn't it so hard? Oh my god. Look how slow you walk. Look how lazily you swipe the sword. Oh my god, guys. It's the best fucking game ever drill a dildo into my eye socket i don't get it i will never get it you know i got a lot of opinions people don't agree with i like bio mutant people hate bio mutant i think gameplay is more important than graphics i don't think games need two hour cutscenes. but if you disagree with any of those that's fine that's your opinion and i'm not going to make fun of you for it and i'm willing to change my opinion when it comes to a few different games sometimes games do something that works that i don't agree with but i still like it anyway so it's like the one exception. But this, this, I will not back down from. The Souls games are ass and they're overrated. And you can put that on my tombstone. Here's two from the same person. Do you think Jerry can outsmart Wile E. Coyote more than the Roadrunner? They're not even from the same cartoon. Who do you think would win in a fight? Tom or Wile E. Coyote? They're not even from the same cartoon. Did you ever try any Nickelodeon shows? I did not grow up with Nickelodeon. I just did not. People that grew up with Nickelodeon, they're completely different creatures from me. I see them as like from another fucking dimension. Like this pseudo world where they had completely different cartoons than me. I got nothing against Nickelodeon, mind you. I just didn't grow up with any of the stuff on there. What have you regretted recently? Probably this video. Do you like being poor? Yes! What are some of your favorite redneck sayings? I'd rather hear a frog fart in a glass and hear a grown man cry. Favorite X-Men game? Welcome to die! 
Favorite Jazz Jackrabbit character, mine is Spaz. Oh, from Jazz 2, yeah. You know, I wonder if they ever had to rename Spaz Jackrabbit so he'd be released in the UK, because Spaz is like a curse word in the UK, like a really bad one. Also, isn't there only like five characters in Jazz Jackrabbit? I guess Jazz himself. Hey, Stu, do you like Soundgarden? Uh, the only song I really like from them is Rusty Cage. Other than that, I haven't really listened to all that much Soundgarden. I'd have to listen to him some more. When it comes to grunge bands, I like Alice in Chains more. What are your thoughts on fighting games? I do not like fighting games. I do not have near, know the time nor the patience to memorize a whole bunch of crazy button combinations. Some of these fighting games have got button combinations for specials and shit like that that look like a fucking cheat code. I don't know what the fuck quarter circle, half circle, neutral B means, and I don't care, and if you tell me, I'm not gonna listen. That's my fighting games rant. Do you like possums? I have a friend who has a possum OC, and she's really freaking hot. So I guess I do. She made her into a VTuber, and now she does Minecraft streams all day. Lol. Your videos are awesome. Thanks for the good reviews. Aww. I love you too, random person. Do your parents know about your furry side or your YouTube side? Also, are the stereotypes about coyotes true? I think my parents know I like cartoon animals, but I don't think they know to what extent. I would be super afraid that if they found out I was a furry, they'd start throwing out the B word. You know the B word I'm talking about. The animal fucker word. I don't like animals. I like cartoons. That's a difference. Now, some of the other rednecks that live around my area, however, I wonder about them. If they fuck their cousins, just what else will they fuck? This question got gross. I apologize. Also, what stereotype about coyotes are you talking about? Is it that stupid stereotype that we all chase roadrunners and have anvils fall on our head? I don't know where people are getting that. <laughs> Did anybody get that license number? What's a music genre people would not expect you to like that you enjoy? I like synthwave and dark synth stuff, like uh, Dance with the Dead. I love that shit. I also like city pop and Eurobeat, like the fucking running in the 90s. I like unironically like that stuff. There's a guy on YouTube that goes by the name Turbo that does Eurobeat covers of famous songs. He did one of Motley Crue's Kickstart My Heart that's like unironically good. I love that channel. Well, that's all the questions I can stand to do today, kids. I guess I'll see y'all later when I've got a Working Man episode out. And no to all the haters, the 3D model isn't going anywhere. In fact, here he is again. That's it, everybody. See y'all.